episode of Twinkle Talk. Oh. Welcome back to my little sister Holly from Twinkle Lashes. Oh. And we oh, are having oh. such fun doing this series. You may have watched a couple of them before, but Twinkle Lashes, no, Twinkle Talk, I keep wanting to say Twinkle Lashes. Hashtag Twinkle Talk is our series all about our beauty faves. So each week we're putting up two videos, one on my channel and one on Holly's, which I will link below and go check her out because she's my favourite person in the whole entire world. Oh, you have to say that. <laughs> so today we are going to be doing, last week we did lipsticks and we've covered mascaras so today we're going to be doing primers and powders and all things that set your makeup or prime them and keep it on for a long time because there's no point spending all that money and then not having it on for very long. And just droop enough. So take it away whole bowl. Well the first thing I'm going to talk about is um, something that I've been absolutely loving recently. It is so good. Um, I know you are a massive fan of this as well. I love it so much. Oh, I yes. have like two of those. <laughs> It is the L'Oreal Paris, the Re Revitalift, even um, moisture blur, and um, basically it is the. Um, it's kind of like a primer, but it's a moisturizer at the same time. What it aims to do is like smooth your skin so much and like blurs almost your pores. So it just makes your the application of your um, foundation go on so smoothly afterwards. It is so good, honestly. It's like, it feels like silk, yeah. when you rub it into your skin, it just so feels good. incredible. And I find that I just get a really flawless finish when I use this underneath my foundation. It's good if you don't want to use a moisturiser and a primer, yeah. like that's a it just, really good option. It saves you money, it doubles up as both and I love it. I'm going to talk about another primer that, again, I've recently fallen in love with. This is a Smashbox photo finish. I had heard a lot of good reviews about this primer. They seem to do a couple of different ones. Their photo yeah. finish, they have like the oil-free, the normal one, the hydrating one. This is the hydrating one. Um, it says apply over clean, moisturised skin. To be honest, again, I actually sometimes use this as a moisturiser. I have combination skin, so I don't like too much grease like on my skin. We don't like the grease. This comes out almost blue, which is slightly weird. Wow. And then when you put it on your skin, like you can see, it's a little bit moisturising. The other version of this goes very matte straight yeah. away. So if you hate like matte looking skin, this is a good option for you for the Smashbox primer because it gives you that moisture. Keeps your makeup on, it doesn't make you greasy at all because I hate greasy yeah, stuff. Nice. So I'm going to talk about one that's a little bit cheaper now. Now this one is just again a foundation primer. It also has SPF 15 in it which is always a big thumbs up from us. Um, this one is by Mary Kay. Now the reason why I love this so much is because when you put it on, I'm going to show you. First of all, it oh, comes out really that. clear, so that's amazing. There's going to be no other colours, but it's almost like a gel. But then when you when you smooth it over, oh my god, I feel that. Oh my god, that. Oh my god, look at your hand. It looks yeah. like flawless. It's so soft. Ah, I want to try that. It is. I'll so, oh, seriously give it a go. It is so so soft and it's so flawless as well. And it almost kind of almost goes into like a powder once you've rubbed it in. Now I love it because like Becky just said, you don't want something that's going to make your skin go really greasy and feel really horrible. I want something that's going to just fit nicely onto my face and that's going to then, you know, when you put your foundation on, it's just going to glide over. Sticking to primers then before you're on to powder powders and stuff. My last one in terms of like putting on is a L'Oreal one. This is their Youth Code Pore Vanisher Texture Perfector. I'm always sceptical about things that say that they're going to get rid of your pores and vanish them. I'm not sold on that. What I am sold on is how incredibly smooth and flawless this leaves your skin feeling. This is very, very similar to the Benefit Professional. It's virtually the same and this is cheaper than the professional. This is slightly more moisturising um, when you put it on. I would think if you like the Benefit Professional, this is a very, very good similar product as well. I love Benefit Professional, um, but I love this and the bottle is bigger, I think actually, yeah, you than do. you, you get, get more. more. It leaves your skin flawless and it's such a good base to let your makeup sit and it's gonna hold your makeup on all day. Excellent. Um, this one is a really, really cheap 
primer which I wanted to put in because I think that honestly you can find good drugstore makeup. Now this one is actually by M um, Makeup Academy and it's called Undress Your Skin um, Flawless Skin Primer. It just smooths everything over and it is so damn cheap. Um, MUA, like Makeup Academy, didn't used to be that amazing um, but I think they've really stepped it up in recent like in recent years um, or in, even in recent months and they've just got so good now this one is again kind of like a gel so Ooh, it's just like, like a clear jelly, gel yeah. and then you just smooth it over and again it's so soft oh my god that's, I thought that'd be wetter I no. thought that's so nice it honestly like disappears really into good. your skin and I was so surprised at this because honestly this is like a couple of pounds I'm gonna hit the powders now so this would be something I'd put on our after my makeup to set my makeup um, and to make sure it stays in place I'm gonna have to go with my favorite one first of all this is the I'm like looking under this is the Laura Mercier real sand this is their mineral powder this powder is incredible I'm a massive fan of like Laura Mercier you guys know how much I talk about the products from Laura Mercier because the skin range in terms of foundation and powders and primers are fantastic it's a great powder it gives me a little bit of color as well so it sets my makeup it does doesn't give me like that white finish of a powder, sets it, looks flawless, doesn't go patchy. That is what I want from a powder to set my makeup, not to ruin like what I've just done. And Laura yeah. Mercier is all over that one. They're all over that jazz, <laughs> which is what we want. Um, the final primer that I'm going to talk to you guys about in this video um, is actually by um, Benefit. Now, I was really excited when this came out because it is their Stay Flawless 15 hour primer. Now, I'm going to show you this because I both love it and hate it. I love it, and I'll tell you this is the reason why I'm including this in the video, is because it is so good for like staying power. It is amazing at setting, like at bringing your makeup onto your face and keeping it there. I have been to the gym in this. I've been like, do you know what I mean? Like I've been on massively long days and my makeup has just looked perfect when I wear it. The only thing is that it feels, feels greasy. so greasy yeah. and heavy. I knew you were going to say that. And it's so, like yeah. when you try and then when you blend it, your foundation, yeah. it's like you're almost fighting against yeah. it. I think it's a good one because I've got really natural and normal skin, whereas you're more on the like mm. combination side, you may struggle a bit more. Yeah. But if you're okay with your skin, then honestly, it is it lasting power amazing. The next one I want to talk about is this Clarins Loose powder it's called the mineral loose powder this is in number one and it's the really really light one I absolutely love this powder because first of all the packaging I feel is a lot more luxurious than the Laura Mercier one and it's nice to have like a nice big like pot um, also you get a little dabbing um, kind of brush which a dabbing pad which I love because this powder can get a bit messy if I put this on with a brush it tends to fall down my clothes so I use this to like dab the powder on and I literally like it get rid of any of the grease any of the kind of stuff I like the only thing I don't like about it is I try to sort of wash this if I can so that it doesn't get too dirty yeah, um, get my... yeah and get clogged up as a powder goes this is amazing because I feel this gives me a little bit more reflection it's got far less color in than the Laura Mercier one has so if you don't want to add like that extra coverage this is going to be more of like a translucent powder this number one for me is great it almost gives like a little bit of a reflection as well like when you put it on do I prefer this to the Laura Mercier one? No, but would I use this if I wanted something that was a little bit more like for daytime and a little bit more um, natural? Then definitely, definitely yes. It's a fantastic powder to invest in. Um, this is a powder one, this is my final product. Um, this is actually Urban Decay and um, it is just their uh, Naked Skin Ultra Definition Press Finishing Powder. Just that. Um, and this one is in Naked Medium Light. Now I don't normally use um, a powder as like a finishing powder. I do use a finishing powder but I mean that's got a little bit of colour in because sometimes I feel like they can just like, I don't know, they just annoy me a little bit and they're just kind of, my skin I don't feel like I need to take the shine away but sometimes if I'm working, I don't know, like in a quite, I don't know, if something's quite humid or, you know, if I'm like on holiday or something, you just, you want a little bit of light powder rather than a full coverage of makeup. I love using this, but again, over the top of your makeup is amazing. Yeah. Um, inside, it's just, it's really yeah. light. It's just a really light colour. It does come with a little sponge, but I actually don't use a sponge because I feel like it just gets too much dirty on your skin. As well. Yeah, and it gets really dirty with like makeup on your hands mm. and stuff. So I actually just use a brush. I feel like it honestly does help to set my makeup in place, take
take away any if, if any shine that I do have. Um, and yeah, I just feel like it it gives you a bit of colour as well because obviously that's it's only very a bit. similar to the one that I'm going to talk about in Holly's video, which is the Mac Studio Fix. So if you guys like that press powder, yeah, that is a very good alternative that I found. Yes. My last but not least is also an Urban Decay one and this is after I've put my makeup on, if I've put my powder on as well after that, then this is the creme de la creme final thing that I do. This is my Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray. To be honest I usually only wear this at night time if I'm going out and I want to set my makeup. Don't put this too close to your face, it's a spray so you open it up and you spray it on your face. If you spray it too close I find that it gets too wet and it almost like dissolves the powder that I've just put on. Makeup off. So you're literally spraying it in the air and almost like, it's so weird, but like, like shoving your face and walk yeah. into it and it just sets and gives you that last little bit. So to be honest if you can have the time to have your first primer, then the powder, then the makeup setting spray, you are sorted for you're the whole night all you're day. Right, that's it. So that that is the end of our makeup setting Aww. kind of primers and powders. I really hope you like that video guys. I'm always trying hard to find stuff that will help you to set your makeup. I had such a good time doing this video. This series is so much fun. I'm going to link Holly's video below. I'm going to link it now as well. So make sure you watch that video. Plenty more primers for you in there and powders. And I'll link Holly's channel. And yeah, high five. I like this video. And, and love you guys as always. I hit myself in the eye. <laughs> Boosh, and uh, we will see you next week. Bye. Bye. Literally, cannot wait another day to tell you. So I'm doing it in today's video. I am going to be presenting a brand new TV show that's coming to the East Midlands here in the UK. I am so excited.